Shut up and sit down. What's the story, Internet? Hope everyone is having a wonderful day so far. Back again with more football. Hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday. Uh, today I'm going to go over the uh, FA Cup fixtures for the weekend. Um, but before I get into that, I just wanted to delve into some of the Bundesliga fixtures that are going on this weekend. Um, I've had a look at the La Liga fixtures. Um, there's nothing overly exciting going on. There's a, yeah, there's nothing exciting going on, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, um, However, in the Bundesliga, there are some interesting matches. So, um, we've got Mönchengladbach versus Bayern Munich. Um, so that should be quite an interesting matchup. Um, Borussia Mönchengladbach has sort of have been the surprise package in Germany for last season especially, but even for this season. I mean, they're in seventh right now, but um, at the beginning of the season they were doing quite well. So they're a, a team that Bayern have to watch out for. Um, can't just sweep them aside like some other teams. Um, and then the bigger match is uh, second versus fourth, Leipzig versus Dortmund. Um, should be a very big match. There is six points between them, but if Dortmund win. That means there's only three, so it's it's a big match for the sake of the uh, the top four anyway. Um, so Germany is relatively close. Bayern Munich are, are kind of running away with it. They're not running away with it. They're only two points clear of Leipzig, but they're five points clear of Leverkusen. They're uh, eight points clear of Dortmund, and um, they're nine points clear of Union Berlin. Which bless them, Union Berlin. I mean, they're in fifth. That's crazy. They're ahead of Wolfsburg. They're ahead of Mönchengladbach. Um, who do they have? They have Wolfsburg. Actually, that's another big match because that's fifth against sixth. Uh, both teams on 24 points. So there's yeah, some very, very big matches in uh, going on in Germany at the minute. So, um, so yeah, it should be interesting to see. I just want to have a look and check for um, Serie A as well. They were the only ones that I didn't check. Um, Let's see. And while that's loading, of course, don't forget about the uh, the matchup I mentioned yesterday, the uh, Ajax versus PSV match as well on Sunday. So that should be quite interesting. Um, we do have a relatively big match. Uh, Roma versus Inter Milan. So um, many, many fixtures in the past where this has been an incredible match. But it's also second against third. So... Inter are now only one point behind AC Milan. Um, that could have been extended since they lost on Wednesday, but AC Milan also lost to Juventus. Um, and then Roma are only three points behind Inter Milan. So if Roma win, that means that they could leapfrog Inter Milan into second. Theoretically, the goal difference is, is quite vast, so they'd probably just be level on, uh, on 36 points. But still, that's a, a huge thing, especially because AC and Inter were running away with the league not too long ago. So... Um, that being said, moving into the convoluted nature of the FA Cup, and the only reason I say convoluted is because there's some big matches, there's some little matches, but we're only going to try and talk about the big matches. So um, on Friday, we've got Wolves against Crystal Palace, so an all Premier League uh, occasion. Um, we also have Aston Villa versus Liverpool. Now, this one, not entirely sure if it's going to go ahead because... Um, Aston Villa have had an outbreak of COVID in their uh, training ground, um, so including some of the first team players. I hasn't been confirmed who the first team players are, but um, for precautionary measures, this match is probably going to be postponed. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, so just keep an eye out for that one. Um, but both of those matches are tomorrow at 11.45 uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, moving down the list a little bit. So there's one I wanted to mention just because you can't not mention the best football meme. Um, can Leicester do it on a rainy afternoon in Stoke? <laughs> a rainy Saturday afternoon in Stoke. Um, obviously it's not a rainy Tuesday night, but um, but yeah, Stoke versus Leicester. So an ex-Premier League team versus a Premier League team that's currently doing quite well. Um so another all Premier League affair, we have Arsenal versus Newcastle. Um, obviously, Arsenal have had that great run and form at the minute, winning three matches on the bounce. Um, Newcastle uh, haven't been 
doing terribly, but then obviously not on the same level as uh, um, as Arsenal have been. So, um, and then moving down, um, just want to mention this one quickly, Brentford versus Middlesbrough. Um, Brentford will be looking to react to um, their semi-final loss to Tottenham um, to progress um, from the third round proper into the next round of the FA Cup. Um, and then at 12 noon on Saturday, we have Manchester United versus Watford. Um, so another ex-Premier League team that's coming back, coming back to Old Trafford. So that should be interesting. Um, just seeing if there are any other interesting fixtures. Um, not particularly. I mean, there are some, some big ones, but um, the thing with the FA Cup is that it has the potential to throw together all sorts of derby matches that no one has even thought of. Um, so, for example, the uh, West Ham Millwall one that was thrown together quite famously. Um, but you have lower league teams, say, for example, a, a League One team will play a non-league team, and they both used to be non-league teams, and now they're, <laughs> they're rivals that <laughs> had been forgotten about. Um, so, but all of the FA Cup matches, I'm not sure if it's all of them or just the major ones, but... Um, all of the FA Cup matches are exclusive to um, ESPN Plus here in America. So um, any of the matches that you're looking to watch, look out for ESPN Plus. Like I said, some of the smaller, say for example, Barnsley versus Tranmere Rovers. No disrespect, but <laughs> uh, they'd probably be showing the Manchester City versus Birmingham City. So just because there's a team that more people have heard of. Um, so yeah, that's really all of the uh, the upcoming fixtures for the weekend. Um, I will be doing a review video on Sunday um, and I'll speak about the fixtures that I talked about, the uh, IXPSV, the uh, Bundesliga fixtures, the uh, Inter Milan versus Roma, review the uh, the FA Cup, go through any shock upsets because that's what the FA Cup brings us and also um, preview Manchester United versus Burnley which is on the 12th which I believe is next Tuesday if I'm remembering correctly. Um, Yes, next Tuesday. So that will be the game in hand that Manchester United has, but we'll talk about that. It's a conversation for another day. So, um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoy the uh, the FA Cup and all the magic that it can bring. Um, has the ability to make some great stories. So, um, so, yeah, I hope you all enjoy the footballing weekend. And as I mentioned, I will be back on Sunday. So in the meantime, I hope you're all staying safe and keeping out of trouble. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, ta-ra for now.